Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I gotta look here. Yo, yo, yeah, yo. it's hard. Um, hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the OBX vlog and how do we say it? Hatteras Island? Hatteras. H A T T E R A S. Yeah. Is Hatteras the island or is it the town? It's both. Oh, that's confusing. Apparently. Yeah. That's where we are at. We're at OBX, Outer Banks, North Carolina. We just went to a really, really cute um, coffee shop called the Dancing Turtle. And what was the other place called? Blue Pelican. Blue Pelican. <laughs> and we met those sweetest pooches. Oh, yeah. Mabel, and Mabel and Sadie. Sadie. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? Good. Good. It's good. What's our plan for today? Uh, not. We don't really have one. No plan. Gonna go to the beach right now. Hang out for a little bit. Let's go to the beach. Beach. Let's go get right. away. They say what they gonna say. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we got some good coffee. It was coconut crunch, mm. right? What's the flavor? Yeah. It was either that or decaf. So we're all all in for the coconut. Yeah. But yeah, it was really it was really good. And we're staying in a cute Airbnb. We'll get some clips of that. Yeah. In a little bit. Yeah. What else? I'm not really feeling sick anymore. Are you? Oh yeah, I'm not either. I kind of forgot about sickness. I know. I, I have like a little bit left. I'd say I'm at 90%. Yeah. Like I got some sore throat, a little congestion. I'm yeah. on my period, so that makes me feel a little sick sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's about it. Yeah, we really have no plans. It's very like isolated, chill vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of cold. It's windy and chilly. Very windy. Yeah. A lot of wind. Yeah. We're having some, some very like deep life chats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Things we're working on, fate yeah. stuff. So yeah. We want a dog now. We do. We really wanted do. a dog before. Now we just really, now we want, a really dog. want a dog. Yeah. So there's that. Cheers to dogs. dogs. Um, but we'll take you guys along for whatever we get up to today. I don't mm -hmm. know what that's going to be, but we'll find out along with you. <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. This is the Airbnb we're in. Sorry, I didn't get a clip yesterday because we were tired after driving, but we are settled in so you don't get like the pure <laughs> new view, but it's a very cute little guest room, guest house, I guess. I don't know if you'd call this a kitchenette. It's like a little, 
Eh, well, not really. Like a <laughs> half a kitchenette. But it's really cute. Just what we needed for two nights. Got all these really pretty prints that I like a lot. These windows that go into someone else's house, we were like, should we change? You know, and just in the bathroom. That's the one thing that I wish there was some sort of cover. That little area to get ready. All of our stuff that we way overpacked. Got TV up here. We're gonna watch the Outer Banks tonight because we're in the Outer Banks. It's our little kitchen area. Lots of tea and coffee, French press, even the cocktail maker. They've got everything, which is awesome. Some other stuff. Got the fridge. These surfer journal books. Trash cans, some nice plants. More open window that kind of creeps me out. Here's the bathroom. <laughs> I like this place a lot. There's just a couple things where I'm like, why is it like that? I love this bathroom. The shower is so cute. This is so well done. Very, very well designed. Again, fun artwork, little plants. Took a nice shower just now, getting ready for dinner. We're gonna go take some pictures with my little she did it cake to celebrate grad school being done and go watch the sunset, hopefully. It's kind of hard where we are at on the island because we have the sound that's like facing west, so that's the best place to see the sunset, but it's not the ocean. And it's also kind of a little bit harder to get to. And we also have the ocean, of course, facing east, and so not the best view of the sunset, but easier to get to, but it's super, super windy this weekend, so it's hard to go sit there and watch, and especially it's hard to bring food or to try to get pictures, so that's a little bit tricky. And then we think we're gonna go to dinner on um, at this restaurant, it's like seafood restaurant that is facing the sound, and so it'll be facing west, good spot for, a good spot for sunset. Um, so we think we're gonna go try to get some pictures outside of here first and then go over there a little early and try to get some sunset pictures and watch the sunset and all of that and then have dinner over there. So we'll take you guys along. We just had a super chill day. We slept, like took it out for a good three hours. So you did not miss much. This vlog is very chill. So that is it for today. this it probably sounds silly but on when you look at your weather app on your phone and it tells you like the sunrise and sunset time we both just learned this like 10 minutes ago the sunrise time is when the sun has fully risen risen right um and the first light time is when it starts so if you're trying to go watch the sunrise look at the first light time and then go watch but the sunset is when the sun starts to set and not when it's the last light so there's like four times to pay attention to for sunrise sunset honestly didn't learn this until today so yeah we came at like halfway through the sunrise but it's still honestly so beautiful so we're gonna sit here enjoy our coffee and soak up the sunrise
Up, so I think he's a little tired of me, but it's okay. He loves me. He's married to me. <laughs> ocean, 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 ocean. I love the ocean. <sighs> hey guys, I wanted to take a second at the end of this video just to share some thoughts that Justin and I were both having on this trip. This was a getaway weekend to celebrate the end of my semester, finishing grad school, and it was something I've looked forward to for a long time and something Justin and I were both really excited about. And don't get me wrong, it was such a fun trip. It was very sweet. It was really low-key and relaxing. As you guys know, we slept most of the trip, honestly. It was just really, really low-key. But I definitely had a lot of expectations for this trip that just didn't happen. And if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I have a blog account now, and I will link my blog down below. Not an account, I don't know why I said that, but a good old-fashioned blog that I started a couple weeks ago. And in that post, I wrote about just having expectations for a trip and having feelings come up that I didn't expect, like random waves of sadness, discontent, all of that discontentment. Y'all, I get my words mixed up. You know what I mean? And in that post, I talked about how it can be easy to have a lot of expectations for a vacation, to kind of have this vacation perfectionism, if you will. And I definitely struggle with that and struggled with that on this Outer Banks trip this past weekend. I expected this trip to be maybe not perfect, but just kind of an idyllic beach trip with sun shining and just lots of sweet moments laying out by the beach. And it was so cold and windy. Hatteras was not what we expected. It was really fun and we liked it, but it was so isolated and I felt like no one was there that we both just kind of felt weird when we were there and I was getting random moods and just waves of sadness and Justin and I had a lot of deep, hard conversations on this trip. And so I just share that to let you guys know that not every trip is perfect. Even in a vlog, it's easy to show just the really pretty parts and I don't record the hard parts. So just know that if you've ever felt like your vacation wasn't meeting up to certain standards that you have, or that someone else you see online looks like they have some perfect vacation or perfect life. Just know that's not true, that we're all going through stuff and, you know, what you see online is only part of the story. So just wanted to share that with you guys and thanks for watching.